Hello everybody, my name is Mathis and welcome back to Starbound! It's been a day for you, it's been five days for me, and I don't really remember what we were doing. Uh, between last episode and this episode I went hunting and got some food though, and I installed a floor on, uh, can we get out of there? On this building, and I might do it on this building at some point. Somebody pointed out that they don't have floors and they're walking on dirt and that's just depressing and you know what? You're right, it is depressing, but before we do anything else, we have a quest over here uh, that I'd love to check out and work with my colony a little bit. The other thing I want to do is give this poor freaking bastard a bed, uh, seeing that he doesn't have one. So let's go ahead and slap a bed right in there for him. Hopefully he can, you know, sleep in his own room at some point. I mean, I get sharing is caring and all that stuff, but I'm sure the lady that we're with here is not particularly appreciative of such things. The other thing I want to do is take a look over here and maybe build some roofing. Uh, we haven't built any roofing yet. And I'm thinking maybe we should? Um, I don't know how it works, I'll be honest with you, but I'm excited to find out. Um, so let's try building some roofing and seeing what it... How does, like... Okay. So, can I build over it? I can. Not... Actually, though. Uh, okay. That looks horribly inact- like, like, off. Why does that look off? I guess like that? So there's a roof? Weird that I can't build over it, though it shows blue like I can, which I'd love to do, um, but I can't. So what we can do is just pop this all out. Yeah, they get really mad when I get rid of, uh, when I get rid of their roof. She, like, tries to teleport away. When I replace this guy's floor, he's like, that's it, I'm leaving. And I was like, uh oh, all right, man. I mean, you don't need to go. Everything's gonna be okay. But nah, he was, he was hell-bent on just bouncing. All right, I'm just gonna do that. There we go. That looks a little bit better. We've got a roof in the back now. Maybe I can, uh, do one of these. And then drop some of that in. Does that look better? I may want to go like that. That looks better. You left the toilet. Look, girl, I'm not. I'm not gonna complain, but you don't have a toilet, so that's all I'm saying. What does this guy want? I was down debating with my cousin Peyton earlier today when she went missing. I saw some glitch thieves sneaking around. And worry, Peyton has been accosted. I last saw her near the ruined stone bridge to the east of us. Sure. I don't know if it fucking matters, but I'll go check it out. There you go. You've got some roof now. To the east, we go. Should not be that difficult. Uh, I, I would like to leave this planet today, though. Um, we're just going to find this ruin. Really? You dick. Like, the one thing, I, the last thing I want you to do is, is to slap me around like the little bitch that I am and remind me how pathetic of a life I lead. Anyway, uh... This guy needs his 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 cousin found. What? Why is where was where does cousin even come from? I activated it. Did that just lead back to the ark. I just spent twenty of those gem things. Yeah, you know what? Eat shit. Ow! 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 I don't appreciate that. I've got a shoddy. Shoddy too hotty, as some may say. Have you seen me? I'm a sexy motherfucker. All right, just... I mean, I have more acrobatic skills than you will ever have. Don't kill me, I have so much to give. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm pretty still friend. Can you take me home? Come on, girl. I'll show you the way. And if you're like any of the other people I saved, I'm assuming you have some sort of teleportation device that can get you to where, you, like, over to me if I get too far ahead. Yep, you do. Which means you could have easily teleported to safety, but chose not to. Which alone confuses me and my simple brain, but as such, as I said, it is a simple brain. Nope. Okay. We're just gonna hop over. Hey! I found her! Thanks! You're welcome. What did I- what did you reward me with? Scientist glasses? Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Scientist glasses. Fuck yeah, man, and something else, but it doesn't matter because I got scientist glasses. So I guess I should give these guys a roof too. Here, let's move this. Uh, 
Wait, I want to do like that. She's got, she's got a quest for me, but I need more roofing. Ah, shit. They're gonna be mad because the roof is missing. The roof, the roof, the roof is missing. There you go. You have repairs, my dog. You're fine. My friend Abby hasn't arrived yet. My date Abby was meant to meet me so we could brainstorm plans for a musical about skeletons yesterday. She probably got lost getting here. Last place I saw was the entrance to the old mine shaft. You guys are just like the neediest motherfuckers. All right, this is the last quest I'm doing before I'm leaving this planet for a little while. I'll come back, but I do want to go ahead and make some more cabin roofing. Okay. Because I want you to have a sweet roof. Okay. I wish I could just control Z and fix it all. Hang on. Get rid of that. And that. Just get the roof back. Don't worry, man. I'm going to give you a, a sweet roof. Okay. Look at this. This is genius. Boom. Okay. Well, we're going to have to start from over here, I guess. Did I go over? Up. Over. God, Mathis. There we go. Here, let's just do... There love in the air over there? Well, don't get too mad if I'm busting out your house. And he's gone. Whoops! Sorry, man. My, uh, he's coming back, I promise. Ready? Boom. Aha! Oh. Um. I know it's a different person. Listen, I understand it's a different person. And, like, they were cousins and shit. But, uh, you know, sometimes such is life. Okay? Come on. Why can I not mine this? Just want to get some, uh, dece roofing in. Girl, just be quiet. I don't know why you moved in. You're a florin. You don't even like this shit. There you go. That looks horrendous. Alright. Well, I gotta go find what's-her-face. In my sweet freaking glasses, mind you. Did I get up here before? There's no way. Okay. Uh, let's grab our dirt. Alright. See, look at this. Just need a pillar. A pillar up. And, uh, we're good to go. Excuse me, you're horrifying. You are actually horrifying. Excuse me, I'm looking for Abby? Is there an Abby here? Ask Abby. Really? Like, was that worth it? Was that, like, worth attacking me? For the grenade in your hole? Whatever hole you took it in is up to- I don't really care, to be honest. You just took it in a hole. And I said, good boy. Uh... And that was the end of it. I'm loving this morning shower thing going on. It's beautiful. Where the hell... Is Tanya's friend Abby? Abby, if you're gonna visit, I want you. Should, you should probably just land in the colony. I mean, I can do it on my ship, and my ship like barely functions. And so if I can do it, I have faith that you can do it. Why am I? Oh God, I feel like going east would have been faster at this point. Christ. Did I already check this out? I did. Just need to make sure. I hate these little blobs. Only because, not because they're doing any damage or anything, they're just fucking obnoxious. That bird was obliterated. It just burst into like bloody dust. That's just sad. At least when I kill them with that, like it makes sense that they get obliterated. Grenade just straight up, you know, disintegrates. 
Can you listen? You're annoying because you look friendly, but you're actually not. Abby! The shitty part about this is I gotta run all the way back. There you are. I am incredibly lost right now. Would you take mind taking me to Tanya? Come on. Uh, I gotta freaking guide your ass all the way back. See, I have the shotgun. Here, I'm just gonna run and hope you teleport to me. I wish I could just teleport back. I would test it, but I'm afraid I'm gonna lose the quest if I do so. And I would like to not lose the quest. Hey, what's up? Did you not? Ow. Okay. Beautiful. They didn't give me any food, but it was beautiful to watch blood rain from a sunny sky on a gorgeous day. All right, you're lucky that you're immune to grenades. I feel like, you know, if I knew that, if that was gonna be the case, I would have loved having you on my team. You probably should join my crew. Being immune to grenades is a very powerful ability very few within the solar system or the galaxy at that possess. I got sweet revenge. I don't know why that's a particular, uh, Whatever you want to call it, that's an that's we call those here in uh, the Mathis Town achievements. Listen, I know you can't defend yourself, but running into them is not going to help anyone's cause. Yes, I know you're lost. Why are you telling this to me? You're lost, but you have a teleporter. Ugh. You stay back. Okay, thanks. I appreciate you staying back. And by staying back, I mean running directly into them. Luckily, I killed them before any damage could get done. Okay. Just back up. Back the fuck up. No, you gotta back up, girl. Listen, you're gonna get smacked around like a punk bitch! And I'm not saying you're a punk bitch, I'm really not. Like, I don't know you through a hole in the wall. I don't know if you have a military background, or maybe you just... You've adapted a pacifist lifestyle, and started roaming the galaxy for peace and prosperity, and are just here to visit a friend. But, you're gonna look like a punk bitch if you don't start... Like, defending yourself a little bit. It's at least frustrating for me, I'll tell you that much. Ah, oh, thank you. What? What? Mind if you join me? Expand your crew, someone wants to join your adventures. Tanya would like to join, okay, hang on. Tanya would like to join this crew. Okay, can you please stop fucking moving? I'm gonna hire you. Engineer, second rank, second last engineer wants to spread rumors? I don't know what that means, but sure. Like, feel free. I don't know what spreading rumors is gonna do, but like, what do I give a shit about you spreading rumors? I'll be honest with you. Okay. Colony deeds. That's what I'm looking for right now. But I don't see them. Okay, because they're here. I gotta like slap this in here. Hey, what's up, buddy? Betty? Haha, <laughs> close. Enjoy your home. It's wonderful. Okay, I've got a crew member now. Let's go see what that's all about. You found your first crew member. Talk to me on your ship to manage crew members and monitor their status. Crew. Tanya. Name Tanya. Engineer, second to last engineer, wants to spread rumors. I don't know what that means. But that's cool. All right, Tanya, welcome to the ship. Um, it's a fucking mess out here. I need to check something real quick. 
I think I forgot something down on the uh, on the planet side. I did not. Why are you following me, Tanya? Tanya, you gotta you gotta stay on the ship, Tanya. Why would you ever come with me? Can you just stay here? Thank you. All right, so that, okay, I can tell her to wait and, or tell her to come along. All right, we're gonna bookmark this planet. I think I've already bookmarked it. Wait, maybe I didn't. Here, let's, no, stop, I know I'm hungry. How the fuck do I get rid of this? There we go. Add a bookmark. Babby's first colony. There we go. We've got our colony there. Let's go ahead and eat. We're hungry. Not raw. Okay, eat, 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 eat. All right. So the thing I wanted to do, I'm pretty sure, was go and start building a house uh, in the asteroid field. Because that excites me. This moon supports no life and has no atmosphere, no life, no life. I want a place I can call my own. And uh, what I'm going to have to do, what I would like to do, is add a flag there so I think I can teleport there. I'm able to reconfigure the ship's teleporter to teleport directly to the location marked by this flag. Place an interactive flag to establish a name. That's exactly what I need. So, we'll go here. So, do you do anything, lady? Like, is there anything you could do for me? You have to wear that. Start watering. Can you keep my, my plants watered while I'm out and about? I feel like that would be pretty nice. Okay, we're taking all this. Because I'm going to build a home. An asteroid home. I'm going to live in an asteroid field. Don't judge me. We're not going to do anything, like, super spectacular right now. We're just going to set up a very basic... God damn it. A very, very, very basic... A, a, damn it. Let's go all the way down. A very, very, very basic home for now. Uh, where I can just put some stuff down and build and, and craft as needed. I hate that there's a delay between taking out my gun and actually being able to shoot. Huh. Huh. You know what? Why don't we build our home into the into an asteroid? That would be cool. Mountainside dwarven living. Dwarf fortress style. I think that would be kind of cool. It will it won't require too much and it'll we can actually make it like a pirate's outcove. You know like a lot of uh, space pirates in, in a lot of science fiction typically make their uh, their bases inside like an asteroid or something inconspicuous or relatively difficult to track because you know asteroids aren't you know relatively easy to come across. Come here. Thank you for dying. Why don't we do that? It'll free up my ship basically is what I, I the big thing that I want. Though we should actually make a farm at some point too. We can't really do that in an asteroid because there's no atmosphere. But, but, at the very least, setting up a home base is kind of cool. We'll put our flag out here as well and the beginnings of something big, possibly. Starting simple. Just drop all of our tools in here. I think I need a little bit more space. Can I pop down a flag right now? Or is that going to be somewhere else? What's that going to be under? Human flag. I hate this thing. But. Boom. 
So now, if I interact with it, I think I can teleport to it. Asteroid. Outpost. Boom. I'm probably also can uh, rename it when I feel like it. But just a little place I can come back to and craft. And I can teleport to it basically from anywhere, presumably. Which is a neat little shortcut, probably well needed too if you want to set up a home. I think that's one of the things that drew me to this game initially, is being able to just set up a home on a distant world and then go exploring and always come back to a place that you recognize. Our little colony is that as well. We might want to put a flag by our colony. Now that I think about it, that's probably really smart. So let's, let's crack into here. Okay, and let's put down all of our basic tools. We will build into this. I might do some building off off camera, just so like the the minutia of it all doesn't get people doesn't doesn't annoy people. Kitchen counter, an apothecary. Like I said, we're just going real basic right now. Crank out a bunch of space and just make use of it. All the new stuff I built too, I'm eager to see if I can what I can do with it. So many different tables that you can use. Break all this shit down. Beautiful. We got this fossil thing. Woodworking table. We got a foraging table as well. Let's just go three deep. I always go at least three deep. You know what I'm saying? And I, I like I said, I'm very eager to see what the fossil thing does. Like this is a disastrous looking place, but right now it doesn't do anything. Advanced brush fossil, master fossil brush. Can be used once to excavate a fossil with heightened success. Can be used once. Okay, and then fossil displays. Then of course we have stuff that we've already used, but how about the apothecary here? I can make bandages and salves, red stim packs, which is what? Red liquid gives powerful regeneration. Why don't we craft that? We might as well. And then, ooh, we can cook some stuff. A little risotto if I do say so myself. We can make a ton of bread. See, this is way better for food. Hot damn. This will probably feed, fill me up way, way faster too. Chocolate, how do I make chocolate? Cocoa pods, hell yeah. I like how making chocolate sounds like I'm sizzling something. Sexy. Oh shit, I'm like, I have no room for any of this. I did not realize that was going to be the case. Uh, Where am I gonna put this for now? Can I store food in like a, ref is there like a refrigerator that I can make? Here, let's, I wish food stacked, man. Whoa! It fucking heals. Shit. It's too much. Too much goodness. I wonder, all right, I'm gonna have to slap some stuff in a chest here. Let's clean up some, some of this. Let's, um, Don't I have a chest somewhere? Here, let's put a chest down here. Again, temporary temporary fixes. I guess the, the downside of building out here, by the way, is gonna be the ridiculous amount of low gravity that I'm gonna have to deal with every single time. Uh, Can I grab all this stuff now? 
Here, let's um do this. Build some stairs that I can kind of walk up. Walk up. But da 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 something. But da 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 something. You're welcome. Here, I guess we're gonna store all these for now as well. Can I get some like heavy boots? All right, we've got a ton of food. We've got our own little place now. We can teleport right back here. We'll give it a quick little testerino. What did you say? Did you say something about destroyed? There, yeah, I can teleport directly there. We gotta go back to the colony though real quick. We need to make more of that. All right, we're gonna do that next time though. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Good to be back after a nice long uh, break away from the game from being at Gen Con, which was super fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with some more Starbound. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.